Hello there, everybody. Uh, we are while we are waiting for this game to load. <coughs> I am at Bones. Uh, now, some of you are asking, where the heck have you been? Well, let me explain that. Uh, my last video I did, I was still getting over what I thought was the end of a cold. No, no, no. Bones just got done with the biggest uber cold I've ever seen, and I'm still not 100%. That's how tough this cold is. Um, now, this is a pretty severe cold, man. Like, it's, it's huge. Um, today we're doing a older game, Far Sky, and the reason is because, um, I, I was big into these survival games when they first hit. What I started to notice, though, was an oversaturation of, it's a zombie game, it's a zombie survival. Guys, did we forget about other monsters? I mean, let's be honest, as a gamer, and as somebody who's a fan of classic cinema, we oversaturated our market with zombies. TV, movies, everything. I'm burnt out of zombies, man. I'm burnt out of them. I don't know if you are, but I know I am. So, what I want to do today is I actually want to try Far Sky here. Now, I played this like ages ago when it first hit. Um, this game is unique for a few reasons. First of all, this is entirely in-house engine, meaning the developer built it from the ground up, built it to do exactly what it does in this game, and this game got released finished. Not early access, not, oh, this will have future updates, as it's finished. Not something you hear about that much anymore. We're going to start here <coughs> with the main game. I'll let you guys mess around with Sandbox on your own. We're going to start it the way we're supposed to start it. Uh, this isn't a very graphic intensive game, so it's nice for older computers. Uh, I enjoyed this little world. It was sort of a precursor to Subnautica. Mayday, mayday, mayday! A submarine is breaking into pieces, which we also have coming up in Let's Play, guys. Um, that will be a series, I believe. It's the only way to do it. Uh, if y'all like this one enough, I'll, I'll do more of this one, too. Nathan, Nathan, are you alright? <coughs> Nathan, answer me. Well, I'm waking up, lady. Guy? Person? Sort of nondescript face on that little video phone there, wouldn't you say? I'm fine. Don't worry, Madison. Okay, I was right, lady. Thank God. I was so scared. I won't survive long without oxygen. Well, I agree there. There should be a base in your position. I'm sending you the coordinates. Okay, so this is our little base near us. It's over here. Um, but no, I mean, you can see here, it's a beautiful looking uh, system. Uh, it, it's got a surprising amount of depth for a little game, I will say that. Um, and I only say a little game because there's not that much to it as far as objects, creatures, all that. Even the unlockables are a little sparse compared to what we're used to. But the end result is interesting. And it's uh, different. It's like a seed-generated game, so... I've been better, I see. I think I should be able to find the pieces of the submarine to fix it back. So first off, you are going to want a drill arm. That I believe is my arm. Uh, this is an extractor, which is sort of like a mining extractor. You get hungry a lot in this game. A lot. And this is just some stuff to help me get started building. Um, okay, I'll be able to send a boat rescue once you reach the surface. Each one that stands. They have uh, given me enough to cook my fish, which is great, because then I get better with the num nums. We're going to leave that stove there, too, by the way. But one thing I liked right off the bat in this game, if I remember, first off, you have your main workshop. You can make equipment, weapons, furniture, and building. Uh, building workshop is obviously the most useful right off the bat, but one of your other ones that you're going to want to start with is a equipment workshop. Um, just for the fact that you, you want to be able to get your stuff upgraded, which is what this is, is really an upgrade unit. So, I have played this one before, so this isn't a blind let's play, but 
Again, I don't lie to y'all about that. I know some Let's Players and YouTubers will lie to you guys and do blind... Uh, I'm not going to call anybody out, but let's just say I know for a fact that two or three of them do it. And one of them uh, was talking to me casually and let it slip. I'm not going to say who it is, because I don't think that's very fair to them, and I don't want to dog anybody else out or trash talk them, but I will say that I think it's not nice to you guys, because they're not being honest. And frankly to me either, damn it, they're not being honest there. Now that down there, you'll notice, is your oxygen meter, the blue, so you got to watch that in this game. <coughs> Who likes chicken? Who likes liver? Meow mix, meow mix, please do liver. Uh, I, that was probably one of my favorite parts of the Austin Powers movie, by the way. Dr. Evil was very well done. And I liked Mini Me, and like the second Dr. Evil, uh, the, the movie there with him. Part 2 I thought was good. Wasn't really big on Part 3. Um, maybe that's just me. I don't know how you guys feel about that, that, that game, but. That game, that movie, but. I did find part one hilarious, man. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, uh, now I don't remember how to do it. There's a way to change what's built here. I don't remember, I don't remember. Oh, I need more flooring, that's what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and get the building work chopped on. Uh, and the weapon workshop has gotta get out of the way too. The building workshop seems extremely important, I would say. So let's get that puppy over here. And then the weapon workshop we'll put right next to the other one. So it slices, it dices, it Julian. Alright. <coughs> so floors. We need some more floors, guys. The unsung hero of any base. The floor. Because it's just easier. The you just make room for stuff. Now, this is your little tum tums. Those are your hunger. When you're first starting out and you don't have a lot to go on, I, I hate to say it, guys, but you're going to wait on that hunger. Um, push it. Push that hunger a little. Not super bad, but it don't don't have it. Don't work for the hunger. Have the, have the hunger work for you. You feel me? Um, now, wandering around does many splendor things. One, you can find better resources um, quicker if you know what you're doing and you're not a dumbass. Uh, you can also, by chance, find little helpers. You need to find an energy source to start them, but they're these little, like, uh, think of them as like little drones, if you will. And they're pretty cool, too. So I like them. Now what I'm doing here is getting enough stuff up to at least make a weapon. A knife, I can cut these little fishes. But, they do one thing in this game that's pretty cool. Is that the blood will attract other fishes. Like it really would. At night, predators come out. So you gotta be careful of that stuff. Um, which again, I really enjoy because I think, you know, yeah, you, you, you would want to be careful of that stuff. But ain't no joke. So, uh, no. Yeah, if you notice I'm building on this game a little, it's, it's mostly just nostalgia. I had a lot of joy when this game first came out. I was pretty happy with this, so... I enjoyed it quite a bit, not gonna lie to you. Um, in particular, I, I just, you know, I was a big fan. I thought it was a very cool looking game. I thought it was very unique. I've seen a lot like that before. I guess I can make a, uh, just, I'm trying to make a knife here. I want to make a knife so I can go and be a snickety snap with my stuff. Snick! Alright. I got a little room. We got a little room in here. We're gonna eat now. And I would say 30 is a good, good place to have that, maybe, guys. I wouldn't do much lower than that if you can help it. I see there I got some food. I'm gonna go for two. Can I go for two? Can I go for three? Can 
Can I go? Oh, shoot. All right. Now let's get enough. Let's uh, haul our butts back up there for a moment to cook this. If you want to cook every piece of food you can. Um, one thing I do like about this game is that if you're not good at base building games, if you're not good, or you've never played maybe some of these other games like Subnautica or um, Rust, for example, you're not you're not good at that. That's not your thing. You're not into it. Uh, I would recommend this game, maybe. Give it a try. Um, one reason, we're going to go check our little harvester, and I'll show you guys why you want one of these in the first place. They're quite nice. It's because they're drilling when y'all are hiding out still. They're drilling no matter what you're doing. And after they totally tap a spat out, and so you can see what you're getting out of the drill, which is also awesome, um, after a while, you can set and forget it in better areas and start kind of, you know, start kind of looting them as well. Um, you'll need to check your map, but you can see areas that have dirt and coal in it. Which is also good to have. Ah, uh, this fish, man. I do wish that he had tweaked the hunger a little, though. I'm not going to lie. That is one complaint I certainly have, is the hunger... Seems a little extreme. I feel like they could have toned that down a little. I feel like he could have, uh, he could have definitely done a little, a little better with that. Now, I need, there's, you'll notice there, there's a special sort of gold looking thing there. That is what that is, is gold. For now, we're going to go with expanding the floor for a very good reason. That's that. Uh, on your main base in this game, and in general in games, I feel you you want to not feel crowded in your in your little homey home there, um, especially in this game where space is obviously very important. Uh, I don't know why the hell I put this stuff right here. Actually, I don't remember how to pick it up again either. I thought there was a way to do it. Oh, right here, right here. Okay, so I can. The hammer, guys, the hammer. I know in other places you can use a hammer. Uh, and that sounded just ridiculously stupid when I said it like that. But you know what I mean. Okay, so we're going to set that here. We're going to set that here. And we're going to set this one near there. So it's a little more spaced out. It's a little Kevin Spacey. I don't... Thank you. Thank you guys. I'll be here all week. I don't know why, but... I will be. Alright. So, we need to get our butts down there and do some of the spookity do exploring. First of all, we found a good coal source, and don't uh, don't let that uh, go by you, because that's very useful. <clears throat> now, I'm playing this game a little slower than I probably should. It's just because I'm getting back into it. I do apologize. I know I'm probably a little rough in the voice there, a little gravelly. But I really can't help that, guys. Um, yeah. Uh, I will tell you all this. I ended up in the hospital uh, from this cold. My temperature got up to uh, close to 104. It's about 103 and halfway there. So, you know, a few more notches unchecked, and I would have been in some real trouble. And do not let yourself get that bad with the with the cold. Don't be dumb like I was. Don't use pride and do the whole macho oh, be okay thing. Because you know what, you never know. And uh, yeah, don't do that. Don't be dumb about it. If you're not sure. Don't just assume. Instead, just you know, handle your handle your shit, man. Don't uh, don't do what I did. Oh, do even know it? There's harvestable food here, guys. The reason that's exciting, I'll tell you, is first of all, hello, harvestable food. But two, food is one of the biggest worries in this game, actually. It really is. Um, food is a huge, huge worry in this game. And it, it is, like, ridiculous, because you wouldn't think that it was that bad. But no, let me tell you, it's bad. Baked potato, please. Uh, and it looks like it's dark out there right now, so we're going to wait until it gets a little lighter out before we head back out. Oh, he said it's getting dark, night is coming. We better watch out. Predators are hunting at night. 
Spooky scary sharks are swimming all the night. And this song is really dumb. Okay, so we did that. Uh, let's see here. Alright, well, the potatoes are super food, aren't they? They actually are, when you think about it. They don't take much uh, to grow. And then on top of it, look at, uh, look at the yummy num nums they give you. Um, while we're speaking about all this weirdness, uh, what is your guys' favorite potato? Let me know in the comments. Are you baked potato, or are you, are you, uh, do you like a potato that the rest of your family hates? Is there a dish that they love you don't like with potatoes? Let me know. Let me know. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe just because it's fun, you know. Why not? Get a little dialogue going, people. So this is our chauncey little base right now. It's not great. We're going to get this upper floor here. Uh, we're going to keep this going as a food source, because I love that. Now, one of the biggest tricks with this game, I can tell you all, from personal experience here, is that you want to make sure you're paying attention there to your depth gauge to the left of the screen. The depth gauge is there for a good reason. You will die. You're going to die. Uh, no, but seriously, you will die if you do not pay attention to the duck cage. Uh, it is no joke. God, I, don't, I really don't want to just have to sit here and wait all night for the night to be done. So we're not going to do that. We're going to be bold. Like Doritos flavors and go out there. Bring me up, Doritos. Bring me up. You want to you wanna give us a little promotion deal? They know it. They're not giving us a deal. Um, I don't know. I personally uh, am enjoying this game, though. Um, I've always liked the ocean. When I was little, I actually wanted to be either a paleontologist or an astronaut for a long time. Well, the astronaut thing melded into microbiologist. Now, I know you're like, what in me? That's not even the same. Yeah, I know, thank you. But I was obsessed, man. I don't know what to tell you. I couldn't help it. I was yeah, I mean, you guys know what it's like when, you, when you're a kid, you've got that one thing, and you're like, this is what I'm doing. Oh, you got pieces of a submarine. Well, 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 one not you? That is my horrible and probably offensive French guy accent. Sorry, French people. I didn't mean to offend you. I don't really believe you all sound like that. I believe I, trying to sound like you, sound like that. Um... It's still probably not flattering to them. They're probably like, we'll kill him later. But, yeah. Alright, so here is uh, dirt, I believe. It's dirt. Look good as dirt. Well, dirt don't hurt. Now, dirt is actually good in this game because of the fact that you will need it when you're uh, planting your potatoes and all that. You make little planters out of them. So, get the dirt. Definitely get coal. What I need is to build another... Uh, a little, uh, little, whatchamacallit here, a little combine. Another little worm, worm, worm. The drill. But I have not yet got enough stuff to do it. Because that second drill is going to be, see what I mean though, guys? That's between me and that thing. That's 72 pieces of iron now. That's pretty friggin' good. But, it's not enough to get me what I need yet. What I need is uh, the, those little pieces of gold there, like a leprechaun. So, well, he might have an appearance by Space Cat here, guys. I don't know, he's hovering down there, so he might stop and say hello. I don't know. Well, one great thing about this here is that I could put a new level up, but I don't really need to, do I? So, what we're going to do instead is take 10 quick panels of this. Go and work on our upstairs while we wait for uh, it to get a little lighter or wait for it to lighten up a little. Like a Trump uh, party member visit. If, if you didn't get that joke, don't worry. But you, you probably should have. It was pretty funny. Not one of my best. Not trying to brag on it or anything, but uh, I thought it was pretty good. Okay, so I got iron spears. A spear gun is a good, good thing to have in this game, trust me. 
Um, and I do recommend you all make a spear gun as soon as you can, just because once you get that, you will not really be without spears if you learn how to do treasure hunting. I'm going to show you treasure hunting in a minute. <coughs> what I tell y'all, there, there goes that horrible cough. So you can see here, I need iron, I need seaweed of a sort. <clears throat> Good God. One other thing. Whoa. That literally like hurt my eyes to cough that hard. Oh no, those are barracudas. Barracudas are dangerous as well. Barracuda. Ooh, Barracuda. Alright, so we are going here. One coal for one piece of food. But uh, coal is good to have. I don't know why I'm seeing like a dork. Why not? So, how has the weather been where you guys are? It has been horrible here in Michigan. It has been uh, ridiculously cold. It's like ridiculously bad, man. I cannot even stick to you all. How bad? How bad? If I had, if I had to try and think of a way to put it, I would put it like this. Oh. First of all, screw this fish. Okay, I think it was actually. This is what I was coming here for. This is what you need for every piece of technology. It's a uh, kind of a weird point, I think, that they did that in this game, and I don't really like that they did that that way. But I mean, you know, they were trying to be different. They're trying to put something else out there. Um, I don't know if I feel like they it was the wisest choice. I feel like it was an interesting choice, but does it? Make me want to play the game more or less? I don't know. I feel like... Should you have used a different resource? Yes. Only because... Everything is randomly generated on these maps. So there's not even a guarantee. I would I would have been anywhere near gold for ages. Unless you have some little math algorithm that says, No, you will be near gold here. Then alright, I get it. But, uh... I don't know. Uh, that's that's my whole thought on it, I guess. I personally wouldn't have went there with it, but I can't fault y'all for going there. Now we're going to do a little something that is very important. First thing you need to do right off the bat is get yourself more air. You always need more air. Always, always, always. And I'm going to go with the air and the diving helmet. Because you need more air. We always need more air. And the diving helmet lets you hit a greater distance. Um, so we're going to go with that. So that you guys don't start off screwed if you die. Always put some of the gold you get away. Always. <clears throat> now that I can go deeper, we're going to go deeper. There's no, this does not sound bad in reverse. Uh, we're going to go deeper. Oh, Lord. This is why I'm glad I'm not actually very famous, because, uh, you know, I'd have like 90,000 go deeper memes. We don't need that yet, guys. Right, we're just trying to get our channel up there. Let's worry about the channel first, and we'll worry about the memes, eh? Uh, y'all get us. Y'all get us where we actually have a following, and then we'll talk about the memes. Alright, now here's one of these little things I was telling you about. Careful, Nathan, the pressure is really high down there. Well, then, I guess you ain't going down there, Nathan. Oh, God. Although, there are treasure chests, I see. If you look up there in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see right about there, on my little radar there, something that looks like little tre You know, some sort of little treasure chest. It's what it is. My max depth is 250. Can I hit this or not, guys? I don't know. I feel like that goes all the friggin' way down, way farther than I'm probably able to jump. 
I don't know. I don't see any good, like, small plateau to drop down. What I'm looking for is what I call the scoot, which is like this. A little inclination that I can climb back up and down without too much trouble in order to hit a good area. The stuff I do for Let's Plays. Let's do it! Let's hit the shelf and see where we end up, guys. Why not? That is far. Alright, now my, my stummies is not doing good, and then my stummies is like, knock it off. Now, these are great for one major reason. You can make stuff to heal yourself with with these. But two, these little light orbs, you want these puppies. Two, this is copper. Um, a very good resource to start with right off the bat. Really, really good stuff. We're going to basically hit 15 here. Go out. Yep, we're done. Uh, run up to any one of these treasure chests here. Diesel piece, just pick one, man. Come on. Oh, God. No, we're not going to hit that treasure chest. Let's try this one. And then, uh, we're going to try running like hell. Back up the, back up the way. Ain't nobody. Sorry, I had Shaka Khan stuck in my head. If you all have never experienced the wonder that is having Shaka Khan stuck in your head, I feel bad for you, because it's amazing. And guys, right here we have our first, well, we have our second extractor, so we're going to put it in copper. Um, again, like I said, extractors are great to have. You want them, you want to use them as soon as you get them. Uh, dude, I really don't... No, we're not going to touch that yet. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and see if... We can hit any more of these, and if not, then that's still fine, but man, we can't, we can't, guys. Alright, so let's go up, let's go back up, I don't want to, I don't want to jinx myself here, right? That's copper. <clears throat> and that's my little jumpy thing. Oh, man. I know you're hungry, buddy. Give me a minute here. Shoot. They gave me glass, they gave me a bunch of stuff. They didn't give me food. Can I eat seaweed? No. Oh no. My little guy. Not a good look for him, guys. Not a good look. I need one more big jump to get over this push. I got it. Can I do it? Can you do it, guys? Come on, guys. Yes. All right. Now, one more from here. Let's try this one. That light looks better. If I can make it back to my guy's area in time, I can do this. I just need to dump this stuff off back home at his lair, and I think I am somewhere in the vicinity. Please let me be in the vicinity. Let me be somewhere near there at least. Okay, good, good, good. Immediately eat the fish. Immediately. Don't even wait. Get something in your tongue comes now. Okay, now the air. Oh shit. Back to the base, I actually didn't reveal what's inside. Um, now, one other thing I should talk about here, guys. Is that on some of these, oh, Jesus, what in the hell? Barracuda got me. The only thing doesn't reach you, Barracuda got me. I lost some of my items, but in the long run, I got some better stuff. I don't know if I need to remake my outfit, but I hope not. I don't recall. I know I do to lose my drill. Okay, so that stays. My drill's lost. Um, which still sucks, but I mean, you know, it could be worse. So here's what we have to do now, if I remember how this works. And I, I don't, but we're going to pretend. Um, is I go 
my cat says meow. I go and I grab. First of all, we're gonna grab all this and then we're gonna put that and use that. I don't want that there. I want that on. Oh my god, cat. Enough. Stop. Uh, Space Cat is very mouthy today. I don't know. She's just been all day. Just meow, 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 meow. Very, very, uh, what I call chittery. You know, where he's got that, like, little chatter that cats do with you. Meow, 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 meow. Been like that all day. So, uh, alright. We're gonna go back up here. How hard did I fail, guys? How bad was it? I guess we'll see. I don't want to go through and re remake all my stuff because if you get your st uh, stuff back, you're good to go anyway. There I am. There I am. There's me dead. Jeez, oh, Pete's another like eight steps, and I would have done it all anyway. All right, so we're coming back with quite a good haul. And uh, as I said, remember now, kids. Eat. Eat the foods. So we're going to eat the foods. Um, I would like to get this little guy up and running if I could, but I'm more concerned first with not dying again before I hit my base. So we're going to make the base our, our priority. <clears throat> first of all, I have another thing of a... Uh, God, that's a big shark. So we're noping the F out of there for a moment. And I know some of you have said to me too, you, you do swear on this channel, why do you sometimes not swear and sometimes you do? Look, I have a bad habit of swearing. I try not to swear any more than I can help in real life. Uh, for several reasons. One is just, you know, it's become so normal to swear that I think not swearing is more taboo in our society. <laughs> Um, for me, I used to swear a lot more than I do now. I actually, believe it or not, I used to swear... God, eight or nine times this, you know. And finally, somebody was like, why is every other word out of your mouth the F word? And, uh, so I don't know, I just, I suppose I just started being a little more conscious about it. Um, other times I think some words are funnier than swearing, you can swear. Or noping the F out to me is funnier than just saying the F word. Um, and lastly, because I like a little variety, man. Like, if I just swear and say, you know, fuck out of and that's just boring, you know, it's... Alright, so I just need to go straight south this way. Um, it's definitely a little more fun, I think, to mix it up some. So those are all the reasons. So you asked me one question, you got three answers. There you go. Could that be a metaphor for how much I talk? Probably. Sorry about that, by the way. Oh, fuck off, fish. I don't even know what one that is. Oh, you fuck off. How about that? Yeah, well, you're not killing me this time, you assholes. I'm right here. Watch, I die. Oh! Oh, so close! Aren't you mad down there? I wish I could have swung my little knife in comedy. Um, comic proportions. To taunt them. Like, haha. Okay, first things first here. As I said, you want the best the best amount of, you know, I wish you could recycle stuff here, I do, um, that would be fun, but you can't, unfortunately, some sort of armor is needed by now, as you saw, these fish will hang you your ass, and they, and I don't mean like in a good way, they're not like, here, have you seen your ass today? No, I mean, they, they will fuck you up. Um, so basically, Far Sky is a game of survival, exploration. For you are somebody who is going um, and trying to figure out what is going on with this weird little habitat you're in. Um, are there monsters? Not so much monsters. There are some enemies, though. 
I will say there are certainly things that you should keep aware of in the game. I don't know. I don't want to like... I don't want to give any really good things away because there's some cool ones. <clears throat> but yeah, you definitely don't want to give anything uh, away with that. But no, I will say that I think that... By the way, always carry a few bandages on you in this game. I learned that the hard way. Uh, I think I have enough for some of these. This is why I told you. Get the dots. Get the dots. Let's see. You want all the planters you can get, guys. More planters, more food. When you get get to where you can really start growing your own food, not worrying, then uh, you will no longer need to rely on just fish. Um, by the time I got good in this game, I was basically living off just the potatoes, pretty much. Um. <coughs> oh, man, that weather! First year I've had a cold this bad. And of course, it, it, then it just sends up, it's not just bad, it's horrifically bad. Um, we're getting our spear gun in here. Screw these fish and sharks, little jerks. Uh, I don't really know. We'll start with iron stunning spears and get some of these things. For now. So those will be our equipped spears when we need them. And with them, fish will stop being little jerks, you can actually do yourself a favor. Oh, I don't need it now. Okay. Slowly you will find your health grows uh, back up. It takes a little while, but it does happen. I'm in any case now. Um, I think this is a good place to end this video, but I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please be sure to like, subscribe if you haven't. Because um, we've got more of this stuff going on, you know. Uh, now that I am back and I'm feeling a little better, I plan to pump out some more content like this for you. And uh, I would like to keep that going very steadily. So, please be sure to give us a like and a follow. If you'd be so kind, thank you. And, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed our little Far Sky World. This is just the beginning. But this is, you know, you can even use this as a little guide to get started if you get the game. Uh, one quick tip I was going to tell you earlier, and I somehow got distracted. Not somehow, I'm always distracted. But uh, if you look around the map enough, you'll find other bases that are empty. And just like flooding. You click on that hammer and you have iron with you. Always bring iron before you go down looking for bases. You can fix them up and use them as other spots between diving in your normal base. And you will do okay oxygen wise that way. So, anyways, I have been Bones. I know uh, Gary and Shelly have some more stuff coming up for you this week. I have another Let's Play tomorrow for you. And some other fun stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you guys very much for spending some more time with us. We really appreciate it. You guys have a great day.